The fourth dimension is one of the most unimaginable places in existence. But what would that look like in Minecraft? This is Minecraft. <laughs> That's insane. Is it even possible? Starting things off with the most basic version of the fourth dimension. Apparently this is some kind of four dimensional shape thing. I don't know. Let's build it in Minecraft. Okay, I've got some sort of magical glowing cube thing going on and this is actually so sick. But this was literally ground zero compared to how insane every single build after this would get as I began to simulate a literal higher dimension in Minecraft. And I still had no clue what the fourth dimension even was, let alone how I was gonna build it. I just spent the last two days studying everything from string theory to quantum physics to figure out if any of this is even possible. And my brain physically hurts. And this is what I came up with. Basically, imagine you're looking at people living in the second dimension. Got all these uh, little guys here. You can literally see everything in their world all at once. Now think of the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension is exactly the same. Imagine being able to see everything in our world all at once, just like looking at these two-dimensional people. I mean, it's completely beyond our reality in a totally new direction. So there are all of these shapes that are meant to represent the fourth dimension, all of which are getting harder and harder to build. And the next one is this thing. But I couldn't just start building this thing because if a single side of the shape was off even a little, the entire build would fall apart. And this was just the first out of a literal infinite set of builds. After learning even more math, I perfectly positioned every side to match and filled in the connecting sheets making the basic shape. This looks so weird. Next, I built the shape inside of itself over and over again before adding a star of light to each corner. Now you might be wondering, Chris, why are you adding all this extra stuff to the build? Well, because this could be so much more than a simple shape. And it was more than just a simple shape. Because what I didn't tell you is everything I'm building for the first stage of this video isn't even real 4D shapes. They're just four dimensional shadows. Basically, these insanely complex shapes are the easiest version of an unimaginable reality we're trying to build in Minecraft. On top of everything added to the second shape, I painted the center with a cool blue gradient before using probably the most overpowered tool in all of Minecraft, light. Painting with light in Minecraft is literally the reason I was able to build the entire universe. And now, the fourth dimension. With realistic lighting added, the second shape was done. But now it was time for the final, most anger-inducing build project I have ever worked on. I just spent the last 10 hours figuring out how to make one of these things, and it looks like a freaking soccer ball. Now this is where we run into probably one of the hardest problems I have ever had to solve for Minecraft build. How to stack these two shapes on top of each other. You see, the final 4D shape isn't just one shape, but a perfectly stacked set of objects that would form the most complicated thing I've ever built in Minecraft. I have been trying for the last two days to fit these two shapes together, and they won't freaking fit together. Oh my God. That was until I got my friend to throw away two weeks of his life to write an entire program to build and connect these shapes in Minecraft. Okay, so how long do you think this should take? It should be easy. We could probably get it done in two days. Okay, so the first thing we should do is just make a shape appear. Yeah, that does not look right. How did that happen? And that's definitely not working. Freaking nothing worked. Dude, oh my god, I hate this shape. It's gonna work, it's gonna work this time, I swear, it's gonna work how this time. How is it this hard to make something? Oh my I actually god. do not understand. Is that a pentagram? Why did you, why did you do that? It was an accident. Dude, this is like the biggest pain in the- Oh. It works. I think that was one of the top 10 worst experiences of my life. After two weeks of hell, we had the blueprints to the most advanced shape in Minecraft. What's crazy is that this shouldn't even exist in Minecraft and here it is. Yes. I started the actual build by filling everything in to make the entire structure feel more solid before adding smaller details around the corners of each shape. Next, I built a central light source before painting with light itself, making the build one of the most realistic shapes out of the three. But all of this is still nothing compared to the unimaginable complexity of the real fourth dimension. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> I was literally on the ground floor. Ground floor. 
the ground floor compared to what even half of the fourth dimension would actually look like in Minecraft. Basically, as this video goes on, I'm gonna simulate more and more of 4D reality until we build the entire fourth dimension in Minecraft. Okay, so what I just built was a shadow of the 4D world, but what would it look like if we built even a piece of the real fourth dimension? Well, today, I'm gonna find out. Apparently, if I put this on, I can see what it would actually be like to see a 4D object. I'm just gonna touch this thing. So you can see they're literally being cut. Like, this is a cube, but the sides are cut by the fourth dimension. Oh my god, you can literally, like, throw it in the air. Everything's gone. I lost all of my shapes. I wanna get, like, the most complicated one. This one is crazy. That is, like, the weirdest shape I've ever seen. Juggling in the fourth dimension. <laughs> oh, god. I have to take a break. Fourth dimension is so exhausting. Okay, so basically it's impossible to see the entire shape because some of it will always be in the fourth dimension and that's literally impossible to imagine, at least not yet. But to get one step closer to simulating the fourth dimension, I was going to build almost exactly what I just saw in that VR simulation, but on a whole new level. Tons of shapes being cut by the fourth dimension. But first, let's start with one. Okay, so now that I know how to use probably the most evil shape to ever exist, we can actually turn it into something even more mind-bending. And even though this was only one build compared to the infinite fractals of the fourth dimension, it still took me four days just to perfectly fit these shapes on top of each other. The domino effect is real here. If I misplace any of these shapes, every single one stacked on top of it is gonna be off. This is my fifth time trying. Ah, uh, it's finally done. Well, the outline, of course, because I mean, this is literally just the beginning. Because I was building what a real four-dimensional object would actually look like in our reality. A slice of its whole form shifting into our world. And there was only one way to do that. After adding a few decorative rings as an homage to the universe, I cut the shape in half, with one side representing the fourth dimension and the other showing our own. I then constructed a portal-like structure between them to exaggerate the effect. I just painted on realistic lighting and this looks insane. After that, I built a ring of the smallest shape orbiting around the center with one side fading into the fourth dimension. And with the final details along the outermost rings finished, it was done. Oh my god, it looks so real! But this was just one build. What if there was an entire realm where the fourth dimension was seeping into our own reality? I started from scratch, making what I just built pale in comparison. Every single side of this shape has to be exact, and I have to use perfect measurements to make probably the weirdest 4D model I've seen so far. To finish off the shape before things got interesting, I decorated the edges, adding the final details, giving the build the most massive scale out of anything so far. But now it was time for the largest series of portals in this entire video. Thin sheets of light that would slice the builds in half, with parts in the fourth dimension and others in our own. Like what I saw in that VR simulation. Okay, I just fit the portal on and oh my god, yes! Now we just have to figure out what to do with the other side. I used the same idea as before, taking glowing rods to make a holographic effect with the build fading into the fourth dimension beyond comprehension. And let me just point out that everything up to this point isn't even the real fourth dimension. And what it's gonna take to make the true 4D reality is beyond anything that has ever been built in Minecraft. Now it was time to build an entire world of them. I replicated the process, slowly building shape after shape at different levels in their portals, until the void was filled with the light of a higher reality. This is so wild, dude! Oh my god! And this isn't even the biggest thing I have planned! But how was I going to build true 4D reality? A place that is literally impossible to imagine. I mean, obviously I couldn't build exactly what the fourth dimension looks like, but I could get pretty damn close. And one way to experience an actual higher dimension, the sensory deprivation tank. People claim to see aliens, people hallucinate. Some people say they literally travel through the multiverse. Today, we're gonna experience the fourth dimension. Oh, come on, welcome. <laughs> this is really spending the next hour. This is the weirdest thing ever. I'm definitely seeing things. <laughs> is this the fourth dimension? Wow. 
So now that I saw whatever I saw, Whoa. we can finally build the real fourth dimension. Or at least a piece of it. Remember how I built that one fractal? Well now imagine an infinite series of them that literally almost corrupt my entire computer's hard drive. Okay, so here's the idea. Because you can see everything everywhere all at once in the fourth dimension, we build something that goes on forever inward and outward, making it so that you can literally see the entirety of existence all at once. Basically, we're gonna build these cool infinite shapes. Starting with the pyramid, but then taking that pyramid and making a pyramid out of that pyramid, and a pyramid out of that pyramid, and a pyramid out of that, eventually creating the tallest pyramid in Minecraft. No, seriously, I had to triple Minecraft's normal height to make every single build from this point on because things get so insanely massive. Oh my god, this is terrifyingly large. I am a thousand blocks up right now. After building one, I pasted them on a grid that practically went on forever, before building holographic versions of that same shape to create a glitched reality where you can see endless variations, just like the fourth dimension. But this was the most basic version. Now imagine something so massive you can't tell which way is up or down, a piece of the fourth dimension expanding forever into darkness. It took Took me 48 hours just to get this far and I don't even know what this is. After I had the outline I built a series of patterns that made up the inside of the shape until I was left with a single fractal of blues and gold. But I had only built one out of what would soon be an infinite realm of them that would absolutely decimate my computer's graphics card. Okay so here's the idea. We take the same glitched effect from the pyramids but we add insane lighting to make the entire thing glow in the void. I built a ton of them with different glitched realities warping around them until it was time to piece them all together. Now this is where things get interesting. The build was getting so massive that the game itself was falling apart. Oh my god. The game is dying. <laughs> I used the new glitched fractals to build an infinite grid expanding in every direction until the build was finished. By the way, you can have literally every single build you see in this video. In fact, you can have every build I've ever made if you head over to my Patreon. The link is in the description. At this point, we've built everything from 4D shapes to slices of the fourth dimension in our world. But these were just pieces of the fourth dimension. What would it actually look like if we built the entire fourth dimension in Minecraft? To find out, I tracked down an actual quantum physicist to help me. But first, I've got this box here from YouTube. 100,000 subscribers! <laughs> By the way, if you're not already subscribed, why? Actually, why? The videos are actually only gonna get more and more insane, so trust me, you don't wanna miss out. It literally took me a month and a half to get in contact with this man, so it better be worth it. Turns out the guy is an absolute legend. The fourth dimension is gonna be tough, right? Because I mean, hmm, I would start with something that's a line and then plane, and then like a cube, but then extrapolating from that is more difficult. So you can imagine the shadows of a three-dimensional shape. Go to five dimensions, six dimensions, etc. Is it even possible to replicate the fourth dimension? In Minecraft, though, I don't know. I think it might be. <laughs> I started the fourth dimension by building tons of cloud-like shapes that would eventually form massive structures rising from the darkness. After I had their basic shapes, I stacked them on top of each other throughout the void, creating the beginnings of what would be pockets of the fourth dimension drifting through space. Yes! Oh my god. I am so excited for this one. Next, I colored the pillars with a set of reds and blues blending into each other, while also adding shading to make the shapes look almost photoreal. And that was it. The build was complete. Psych! That was just the foundation for the literal higher reality I was about to build. I painted over every structure with shades of light, making the pillars shine in the void. One by one, I covered each massive structure with some of the most realistic lighting possible in Minecraft. I took the same holographic effect from the fractals and added to them, with plumes of light glitching and warping around the towers of 4D reality. Every curve, every source of light was existing in a theoretical infinite set of realities, just like the fourth dimension, making this set of builds the most bizarre thing I have ever seen in Minecraft.
you built all of this. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> you, you have problems. That... <laughs> That's well done. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you should be so proud. But what did a real quantum physicist think? Did I build the fourth dimension in Minecraft? But before any of that, it's time to take a look back and see if any of my builds really can rival the inconceivable majesty of the fourth dimension. moment of truth. Did I build the fourth dimension in Minecraft? I myself have a tough time visualizing the fourth dimension, but you have visualized it beautifully. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! Subscribe!